You know, lacrosse the last couple of years has really picked up and uh, it's, it's grown immensely, especially uh, with Outlaws in town since 2006 and uh, the Colorado Mammoth as well. But uh, the, the sport's just growing like crazy and you know, at the youth level, there's more kids than ever. Denver City Lacs, uh, I'm a current coach there and uh, it's, it's great, it's you know, off of MLK and it's not, not the best neighborhoods, but these kids, they just brighten your day and uh, they teach you a lot and you learn a lot about yourself coaching them and it's just uh, you know great way to give back to the game that's given me so much so um, you know we have a lot of fun with it and we're, we're having a lot of success I have a lot of great athletes and uh, these kids are loving it and uh, it's great to see it come full circle where some of those kids are ending up in high school and then colleges and now in the outlaws so uh, you know a perfect example is Mark Matthews and uh, we're excited to see him play and you know I was fortunate enough to be able to play in Denver as well and grow up here and kind of see the sport grow so when I was little growing up here going to DU games you never would see a Duke or a Virginia it was really rare if you know Syracuse or any of those big name schools would come out so um, it kind of shows how far lacrosse has come and schools are wanting to come out here to play versus DU always having to go back east to play you know the Dukes the North Carolinas the Virginias and Syracuse so um, you know as far as being a part of that the last couple years, it was great, and it, it's great to be able to watch it now from the sideline. Um, it's just cool to have a, a good college team in your town and then also a good professional team as well. You know, the defense is looking uh, really sharp. We, we lost Kevin Understeen, which is a big hit. You know, he's one of our better players, but uh, we have a couple players that are going to be able to fill that role on defensive midi, but besides that, you know, Jesse's the general. He tells all the defensemen where he wants them and where he wants the shots from. And uh, we got Bach with myself running pole, which is always fun. And then, uh, you know, down low, we got Eric Martin and uh, Lee Zink. And then the third defenseman is either going to be, you know, Stephen Holmes or uh, Sean McCarthy, who are excellent players. So um, should be a pretty steady defense uh, for the season. You know, nothing less than a championship. So that's the goal. It's just going to take a lot of hard work, buying in the system and really going from there.